Let's alter Orchid, and I have friends. Hello. <coughs> you just stole the show. How dare you? So this is Gray Crayon as Deku. Gray with an E. Yeah. And then come over here. This is female Kirishima. Oh, get out. Get out. Get out. This now. is come on. BNHA forever. No, Raven cosplay. Because I'm changing Raven it right cosplay. now. Raven cosplay. I'm changing it right now. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because. Raven cosplay as female Kirishima. Yeah. Okay, so in a previous video, I referenced to her as being a forever. You did? So completely disregard that as Raven cosplay. So, uh, you might notice that the wig cap looks a little different. I did put my wig on. I did a thing on Raven's channel. But I came back because I promised you guys a makeup thing. So, yeah. I'm going to be here the whole time. Yes. <laughs> so... I might not have on my makeup because I had a friend go right now. Ow! Uh, you're not okay. Are you? It's the toga hair cat. So all the makeup I thought I didn't have. I, I have, have a toga hair cat. Are you moving? A toga hair cat. <laughs> so, uh, sorry about this. Um, I normally edit this out, but you know, editing software is at home. Yeah. Happened. I'm sorry for whatever just happened. Okay. Kitties, <laughs> stop. So, first thing I'm going to do. Ew. So, I don't have a, like, a full list of all the makeup I'll use. Um, also, a note, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. But I'll try to, like, say what the name is. So, this is a palette from the... the this is a palette from the Color Institute. Quiet on set! Oh! Okay. So, it's Whoa. just a bunch of makeup. So, oh, it's oh, really I... messy, but. Oh, like, gray crayons just fangirling. Oh, oh like. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm sorry for whatever chaos goes on. Um, these people don't sponsor me, they don't have to be in my video. I can them out anytime I want. What? Not saying I will, but I could. Okay, so first obvious thing is if you have glasses, take them off. Yeah. So the first thing I normally do for token makeup is I take a little bit of concealer that's on this palette, but I just put it under my eyes. Cause I always have Cause bags, bags under my eyes. Cause I don't sleep by my wig go yeet. My wig yeah, go yeet. She just yeeted her wig. My that wig, was quick. My wig go yeet. It was okay. disappeared in a second. So another thing I like to do is Toga's Blonde. If you're familiar with being a also known as My Hair Academia, you're familiar with that. Oh, but yeah, Toga's yeah. Blonde, and I'm not. So our eyebrows are different colors. So this is a brush from Elf Eyeshadow Brush. No, let me, and I let take me, a NYX Professional Makeup Ultimate Edit this palette, and I just take a little bit of yellow. And just do it on my eyebrows. It's not like you don't have to do this part, but it does make it a little more realistic if your hair is a different color than the wig. It also makes it more realistic if the wig is a non natural hair color. Like, for example, green. I don't do the eyebrows though, because it looks weird, because then my eyebrows fill in and. It looks weird. I look weird with actual eyebrows. You do. These are just stubs. I don't. Scooch, scooch, scooch. I'm standing here so you don't get to push me away. So scooch. Next thing. So Children, what's going on? I just won't let me stand where I was standing. So, uh, the thing I like to do is when you switch makeup colors, I just take Ow. a makeup wipe. <laughs> These are not mine. So it's Beauty She's Baby busy. 60 makeup wipe okay, and works. just wipe it so that. You get all the extra color off. Okay. Sorry that we're not being my on set. But... <laughs> and then I take no, same I palette, so this like orangey color. I take a good amount of that. And 
I just put it on my eyelids. It's not working because the brush is wet. Um, yeah, I didn't let it dry. I almost said cool, like you're getting out of the oven. Um, yeah, I didn't let it dry. So it takes a while to build up color, so just keep going. Do not give also up. enjoy the makeup faces, just saying that. Yeah, enjoy my beautiful makeup faces. It gets even better when I do eyeliner. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. You should put me on a beauty magazine for my makeup yeah, faces. Just... <laughs> makeup faces are fabulous. Uh -huh. Unless you're doing this for like a cosplay photo shoot where you might want to do it over dramatic makeup. Try not to go too heavy on the makeup, or it's not going to make her look realistic anymore. For Halloween and for like, if I know people are going to be taking pictures of me, I actually use red face paint, but like dry, and I put it on my eyelids, and it gives a much more exaggerated look. Right now it doesn't matter. But right now it doesn't matter, because I'm just going to be doing stuff with friends. She was listening to something in the background, so I'm so dirty background. What is it, though? Okay, there you go. No, no, so I have a basket of weave. <laughs> I have a basket of weave. I have a woven Here, let me add weave. my weave. Oh, also, once again, I'm filming in, in a mirror, so we might enter an alternate journey, alternate universe here. So, I'm gonna mix yeah. up the hair too. So next thing, and this is usually the most frustrating part, is eyeliner. So just the thing I'm gonna put or note, I guess, is that I try not to do winged eyeliner um, for cosplay characters. It, at least anime cosplay characters, it gives them that less anime-y look. Because normally for anime characters, their eyeliner is very heavy on the top and lighter on the bottom, and they don't often do a wing. Oh, I know. I just so. I just do this because okay. otherwise, I don't want my there's eyes to be dead. There's going to be another beautiful makeup face right here. Oh, yes. The muscle of waist and makeup faces. The eyeliner face. People need to understand the beauty of makeup faces. Mm -hmm. So I tend to do it very, very heavy at the top of my face. Uh, and this part is often the scariest part for people new to makeup, so feel free to just do it under your lash line. But I tend to pull my lash line down and starting halfway, do it on the waterline. That looks terrifying. So like that. But it looks much better. And uh, then just kind of connect it without making it look weird. So like that. That looks perfect. Uh, then I wish I could do that. I can't. On the other side. This is often the hardest part because you need to make it look even. It That's is. another reason I don't often wing it. Like, do the wings. Yeah. Just because it takes like these, so this long. Took, like, forever. And one of them was already smudged. Oh, that's lovely. You know what? I'm not even sure I care anymore. Okay. Yeah, this part it looks terrifying. <laughs> there you go, and just make sure that the bottom lash line's even. That's the most obvious part that becomes uneven. Can I see? Okay. okay, now I kind of want to try it. Uh, I might go upstairs. So again. now, another thing I do. Oh, you I forgot one? to put... Same with this. This is a CoverGirl ink it in black. You have a white one? I do. It's like yeah. translucent and sparkly. So what I do, and it gets the anime look, is under my lash line. Not on the waterline, but under. It just lightly, lightly put sparkly one. It's kind of subtle, but it gives it that kind of anime look. And do it under the entire thing. Like How'd you just it. get so good at this? Practice and other tutorials. So now's the fun part. 
mascara. Oh, that is eyeshadow. Mascara. This is Julep Length Matters. And it's black. So, Toga has very defined eyelashes, so if you're not comfortable doing fake eyelashes or you don't have any, what also works is just going very heavy with mascara. Well, it's also a way to style lashes. Yeah. You put on, like, mascara and then you pinch them together to how you want them. So I tend to go very heavy on both the top and bottom lashes. Bottom lashes I go a little lighter. But the top I put top Mostly because on the bottom it probably gets a lot chunkier. Yeah. And it's a lot more noticeable if it gets chunky. I wanna That's try another thing. beautiful makeup face. I wanna try the thing where you uh, I wanna do like how you did uh, the eyeliner on your water the eyeliner on your waterline. Except I don't wanna go upstairs and get my things out. Okay. So now your eyes are done. Now is the fun part. One of the fun parts. Going heavy on the blush. blush making you look yourself. So, uh, if you aren't familiar with Toga as a character, Toga tends to blush when she's excited rather than when she is embarrassed. Like she also gets do. excited a lot, so. So, and she gets excited a lot. So she's always very blushy. So I'm going back to my first palette that I used for concealer, and I'm just getting some of the blush and just. But more blush than you feel comfortable with. And also make sure you get just a little bit on her nose. That just gives it that kind of cutesy look. This should have less interesting Is this face. eyeliner? That is eyeliner. Huh. Great Korean is off screen questioning on the makeup. Oh yeah, that's mostly because I don't have much makeup. Most of it are borrowed from my mom or family members have given to me. Okay. So, last, almost last thing. You're almost done if you've gotten this far. Also, keep in mind that this is just my interpretation of Toga. Um, it's always best to look at a bunch of tutorials and kind of piece together what you feel most comfortable with and what you have available. So, the last thing I do is highlighter. So I just kind of do it on my cheekbones. I do it on the tip of my nose. And I do some on my forehead too. I don't know. Well, when you do it on the tip of your nose, it's super subtle, and on me, it looks like I'm right off the red nose right here. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, should so, I? So, last thing is if you want, you can kind of put a little bit of eyeliner in the corners. And it kind of is. Do you think it would look good if I did the if I did the it eyeliner? It just kind of line? gives you a bit more of a smiley look, if that makes any sense. But that's an optional thing. You really don't have to do that. But you can if you want to. It's more obvious for characters like Suyasui on My Hair Academia, where her mouth is a lot wider, so I so end up having to do a lot. <laughs> Um, yes. Should I do the eyeliner on my one? Yeah. Oh. It takes it's practice, and if you poke yourself in the eye, it hurts. Oh yeah, warning, um, if you're kind of new to makeup, you might not want to do the waterline thing unless you've had some practice and watched a couple of tutorials, because if you get eyeliner in your eye, it hurts. I'll probably try it some other time. <laughs> Let's see. Last thing we need, which sadly I don't... Oh, I do is I use for lip gloss Burt's Bees uh, Peony, like the flower, like tinted, just. There you go. Um... Okay, lastly, I put in fake fangs. So, um, I honestly wouldn't be able to tell you what brand these are. Um, I got them at a Halloween store. Uh, you can order them online, like, everywhere. Just make sure you can use them correctly. I just put in the fake fangs. 
I'm also going to combine this with how to put the wig on. So I have styled this in the past. So you might want to, if you need to style it, I'd recommend finding other tutorials, like how to cut the bangs, how to style it. Did so you cut your bangs? I did cut the bangs. So I always start with the front because that way it's easier to see if you've screwed up the part than if you start in the back. This is beautiful, I know. But just adjust it, make sure you can see. Also make sure your part is centered. But then the buns are usually clip-on. So, uh, wig fibers in my eyes. I hate wig fibers. I hate that. It hurts so much. And there's like, really nothing you okay, can do about it. Okay, for people who've never worn a wig, you would think that getting normal hair on your eye would hurt less than, like, wig fibers? No. Well, no. it does. Getting regular hair in your eye hurts less than wig fibers because regular hair is just yeah. keratin. Wig fibers, it's plastic, basically. So yeah, no, I'm saying that the wing of hurts. plastic. I was saying you would think that hair would hurt more. So, than I know Chaga doesn't have glasses, but I do. So, this yeah. is my take of Kimiko Toy Makeup. Bye! Bye!